Hi, I'm David from Outdoor World Direct. Today we're up at Van Gogh's headquarters at their brand Boffy and we're just going to take a look at some of the tents for 2023. What I'm going to try and do is give you an overview of the 2023 range so you can better understand which tents fit in where and what the different types are and why they might be different price points. It's all very confusing buying a tent so I'm going to try and simplify it as best I can to help you get to the right tent and pick the right one for you so that you don't end up with one that's inferior to your needs or you know too much the other way where it's, it's actually too good for what you require so if we start with the entry level tents all van Gogh's ranges essentially there's three ranges and the best way to remember them is i think good better best so they've got the sentinel range the sentinel eco jura and then they've got the Sentinel Elite ranges. So they're kind of your, your Sentinels, you're good, your Eco Jura is your better, and your Elite is your best. I'll take you through each range individually. So the Sentinel range is the entry level range, it's the lightweight range. So it's a lighter weight fabric, it's 70 denier polyester. Polyester isn't a breathable fabric, it is highly waterproof. Anything in the Sentinel range is going to be 3000 hydrostatic head, so that's quite a good waterproofing level for the UK. The beauty of these tents is they're designed for adventure, lightweight camping really, but they're still going to give you plenty of standing height. So that makes them perfect for festivals, it makes them perfect for weekend camping, it makes them perfect for touring. Within these ranges you've got the Harris 3 and 5, so the 350 and the 500. The 350 obviously sleeps 3 people, the 500 sleeps 5 people, that's the idea. So when you see the name after each tent and it says 600 or that refers to the amount of people that can sleep inside that tent. So with these Sentinel, they're made in the mineral green colour, so that's how you identify it kind of belongs to that Sentinel range, is, is by this green colour you'll see, and that's how you know it's one of the lightweight adventure styles of tents. So within the range we've got the Harris 3 and 5, we've then got the Castlewood 4 and 8, and then we've got the Lismore 4, 6 and 7. So there's different sizes in there, there's different formats and layouts in there, but the key thing to remember with these, it's the lightweight fabric, so it's better for those that maybe are on shorter term holidays. I'll quickly run you through a couple of the tents. This is the Harris 350, so this is probably ideal for somebody like, you know, that's a couple that just want the ability to stand up, but they want a porch at the front and some living space and a sleeping pod to the rear. It's a really simple design. In these areas, what you'll find is we typically do them in both a pole and an airbeam design. So we might have a pulled version and an air version. So it just depends on whether you want a cheaper option, which would be a pulled, or if you want the quick pitching option, which is going to be your airbeam designs. Traditionally, the uh, Castlemore, sorry, is the most popular in this kind of area. So we do this in both a four and an eight. This was formerly known as the Van Gogh Longleat. So if you've seen the Longleat, this is the new version of it. The beauty of this tent is it gives you a vis-a-vis -vis style, so you've got a bedroom either side. So this one's got two two-person bedrooms either side. And as I said, we make it in both a four and an eight, so there's two size options in there. And we make it in both a um, pulled version and an airbeam version. With the Sentinel range, you now get the coil lock protection on the fabric. What, what's coil lock? What does it mean? It's essentially like a sun cream for your tent. So it's pre-treated with like a UV protection. That doesn't mean it won't fade over time or it won't degrade. It still will do those things, but it will do it slower than a tent that isn't treated by coil lock. The other thing you get with this fabric is you get the mineral green core as we've discussed and you get uh, the nightfall bedrooms. So these are darkened bedrooms, but they're not our darkest bedroom that we sell. So although the bedrooms will minimize the light in the morning, uh, to stop you waking up earlier. It's not a blackout or a darker bedroom as some of the ones later into the ranges are. So this tent here is the Wismore 450. Again, we do it in pole, we do it in air. The Wismore was formerly known as the Stargrove. So if you're looking at some of the older models, you might have seen the Stargrove in, in over the years. Well, this is the new replacement, it's the Wismore. Again, it's available in pole, it's available in air. This is a lightweight free zone tent. So we've got free zones to this tent. We've got a simple tunnel design with a porch to the front, and then you've got a sewn-in living space, and you've got nightfall bedrooms to the rear. We do this in both a 450 and a 600. So the 450 is more ideal for like couples, and, or maybe couples with a dog or a young child. The 600 would typically be more for that family of four that want a bit more space. So with family tents, what I always think is, if you're looking, say there's a, you're a family of four, you should be buying at least a five or a six man tent. You don't want to buy a four man tent because it will probably be too small for your needs. You'd be crammed in. Four is like the maximum that this tent would sleep. It's more ideal for two people to three people. 
So this is the largest tent in the Sentinel range. It's the, called the Wismore 700 Deluxe. It's available again in Pold and it's available in the air beams as well. So this sleeps up to seven people. It's an absolutely massive family tent. It's made in that same lightweight fabric, that 70 denier fabric. It's got three zones. It's got a really nice width. I think it's a 440 centimeter width, for, so it's the widest family tent that we do. So this is perfect for that family that maybe want a larger family tent, but they don't want to pay for maybe some of the more elite tents because they might not go camping as often as somebody that buys an elite tent. So this is like a nice starting point for that large family that want plenty of living space. It's actually got quite a lot of features in it for the money. You're getting mesh throughout. You've got a side to give it more breathability. With polyester, because it's not a breathable fabric, we need to put more mesh in so that you get airflow into the tent because you do get condensation inside these polyester tents. So this uh, sorry, this Lismore 7 is a really popular option and it's kind of the top end of that Sentinel collection of, of family tents. So I hope that can, helps conclude the Sentinel range of tents. So as we mentioned, the, the Sentinel range, when you see this mineral colour, this is our good collection, so it's our lightweight 70 denier fabric. It's got lots of bells and whistles still that make it quality, a quality product, but it's typically designed to keep the tent lighter in weight, so it's more uh, ideal for like the touring type holidays and that kind of thing. When you see this mineral green colour, you'll know it the tent belongs to that Sentinel collection. We offer them in a range of different sizes and shapes, and then it's just about whether you want a pulled or an air version. Usually you'll find that the pulled version is cheaper than the air, and that's just purely because the air version gives you more versatility and intuitive pitching compared to the pulled versions. We're gonna move on and look at some of the other ranges from Van Gogh now. Moving away from the mineral green Sentinel tents, now we're moving into the Sentinel TC range. So what's TC mean? It stands for technical cotton. So the, the green tents I showed you in the first part of the video, they're all polyester. This is poly cotton fabric now, but it's poly cotton tents that we've designed to hit better price points. Why would you want a poly cotton tent? There's a lot of advantages to poly cotton. The first thing is that it breathes, so you get less condensation inside your tent. Also, it's naturally more weatherproof. It's stronger in the wind, it's quieter in the wind, and also it's gonna last you much longer when you compare it with polyester. So that's why people typically take a poly cotton tent. It's because they want something that's gonna last them longer. They can use it in different climates and it's just gonna give them a lot more versatility. Now, obviously there's a flip side. There is a downside to poly cotton against polyester. The first thing is polyester, the green tents we saw in the first clip, they dry so much quicker than polyester, uh, sorry, than poly cotton does. So cotton's gonna take that little bit longer to dry. Also, it's heavier. So it's a heavier fabric, which means it's more to port around, it's more weight. So it's not as portable as some of the polyester tents we sell. But if you're, say, going out on the continent or you're going for longer camping trips or you want to be more comfortable, you might want to consider poly cotton tents. So the range in this, of these tents is really similar to the Mineral Green collection in terms of the sizes and shapes are actually all the same. So this is the Harris TC500. So it's the same as the Harris that you saw in the polyester, but it's in this better fabric. So we do the Harris 500 TC. This is a nice open front canopy. Then you've got a sewn in living space here and you've got the nightfall bedrooms inside at the back here as well. So it's got all the same features. Essentially what you get with the TC is just a better fabric, but you do pay a little bit more for that fabric as a result. So the most popular two tents within the Sentinel TC collection are the Wismore 450 and the Wismore 6. Now I'm well aware that you're probably seeing that it says Stargrove on the side of this tent. This is a sample. The Stargrove tent has been rebranded for 2023 and is now called the Van Gogh Wismore. Now the Wismore 450 is the one I'm standing outside of. This has got pulled, but you can get it in the air as well. So you can get either pulled or air within this tent. And again, this is really simple. It's really similar to the Wismore 450 over in the green collection, but it's just in this cotton fabric. Also make it in the six man as well. So you've got a 450 and a six, and we've got the ability to either have poles or air beams. So that kind of concludes your Sentinel TC collection. It's the same as the other collection, but with a better fabric. That's the best way of describing it. Within these collections, you're gonna have nightfall bedrooms. You're gonna get mesh doors. 
within and you also get drop down ground sheets as well which is quite an important feature if you've got prams if you've got wheelchairs because it makes it easier to get into the tent the flip side of drop down doors is you are going to have a little bit of a gap between the fly sheet and the door where they meet so it might be one of the more in videos if you're interested in one of these tents just to see all the the features that they offer So I mentioned at the start of the video that we have a good better best. This is our middleman, this is our better. Why is it better? It's because we put more features in here and we, we do a lot more with this fabric to protect it and, and enhance it from the weather. So when you move into these, these middle areas, you've got a couple of tents in the range. The other thing to mention on these is these, this is the EcoDura collection. What does that mean? It, it, it's more environmentally friendly. All these ranges, they're made with recycled single-use plastics. So instead of adding more plastic into the system, what we're doing is we're using recycled plastic to create a tent. It doesn't affect the quality of the tent, the longevity of the tent, none of those things are affected. What it essentially does is take single-use plastics and make them into a tent which is reusable. So if we look in the Sentinel Eco Dura range, again it's polyester fabric so it's 70 denier, but the waterproofing on it is higher. The waterproofing is a 4,000 hydrostatic head as opposed to a 3,000 that we had on the Sentinel range over there. So this is, as I said, it's our better. Why is it better? It's more waterproof. You've also got single point inflation on all these tents. They're all air tents, so they're all inflatable, so they're all quick to pitch. Single point inflation is, is exactly what it says on the tin. You inflate the tent from one point. You also have the ability to inflate them individually as individual beams if you wish. Single point inflation is a really good uh, improvement to the, fan, uh, the Van Gogh tents because it's made them quicker to pitch and you can actually start using an electric pump to pitch them without the hassle of having to use the hand pump and you can then start setting up your camp whilst your tent essentially inflates itself. So all the tents in this Sentinel Eco Dura collection they're designed with this earth theory in mind and what they're doing is they're taking the, the bottle on the left they're then breaking it down into tiny pieces which is the second from left tab there and then eventually they spin it into a woven fibre and the end result is we get the fabric. So by the end of 2023 Van Gogh estimate that they'll have used 16 million plastic bottles to create their earth collection of tents, it's also in their mats, it's in their sleeping bags, it's in their rucksacks, it's in their chairs as well. So they are trying to take a more environmentally friendly approach to manufacturing outdoor products because it's good to do so, it's more expensive for the manufacturer to do so, but this is a good process to go down because it's taking a lot of wasted plastic out of the system and making it reusable. So within the Sentinel Eco Dura collection you have three tent ranges. You've got the Joro, which I'm stood in front of now. This is essentially a Wismore, but made in the better fabric with some better specifications. So it's the same actual size, shape, it's just the fabric is better and we put better inner tents in this and you've got the single point inflation on the beams. So with the Joro we do it in both a 450 and a 600, so we do it in both the 4-man and the 6-man. We then move on to the Rome tent. So we do the roam in a 550 and we do it in a 650, so we do it in a 5 and a 6 man. What are the differences between this and the Joro? They're really similar tents, they've got a lot of the same similar features in terms of the specification and the quality, but the Joro is a narrower tent, so it's probably, in the 6 man it's 380 centimetres wide. If you look at the 6 man version of the roam, it'll be 450 centimetres wide, so you're getting the additional width and living space throughout the tent. Also with the Rome you actually have a side annex built on to the side so that's an ideal storage pod or it's a good place to put a port or potty of an evening. You've also got the versatile front doors and not a simple D-door. These D door, uh, sorry, these, these doors are, can be used in different settings and you can create a canopy using these doors as well. You also have a rain safe side entrance into the Rome as well so if it is raining you can walk in the tent through the side without getting lots of water into the ground sheet area of the tent. So inside the Rome here we have a fully sewn in ground sheet, we've got the free zone design that you've also got in the Sentinel range. 
The thing with the Sentinel Eco Dura range is, is you'll notice it's in this Moroccan blue colour, so that's how you know you're getting the mid range. The other thing that you're getting with this mid range is midnight bedrooms. So the midnight bedrooms are darker bedrooms, they're going to keep more early morning light out. Again, if you look at maybe one of the videos of, of the Roams or the, the Joros, you'll get more in depth information about the bedrooms and about the different features on them. Hopefully, that covers off the Sentinel Eco Dura range, and I'll take you and show you the elite collection that Van Gogh also offer. So we've covered off the entry level, which is the Sentinel collection. Then we've covered off the mid level, which is our better collection, which is our Eco Dura collection, designed using recycled plastics. The top end of the range is the Sentinel Elite collection. This is a really simple choice here. You've got essentially two tents made in two fabrics. So you've got the Anantara 450, or you've got the Anantara 650. They're either manufactured in a 150 denier polyester, or in a poly cotton. Now all the other tents in polyester that we've shown you are a 70 denier fabric. So if you jump into an Anantara, you're getting 150 denier. So it's a thicker, stronger fabric. It's going to last longer. The d downside of that again is that it's just going to be a heavier fabric than the 70 denier. But it will give you more longevity. So we make a 450 and we make that in polyester and poly cotton. And then we make the 650, which again is in polyester or a poly cotton. So now we're looking at the Anantara 650, what are some of the features, why are these so much more expensive than say the better range or the good range? Well essentially you're getting single point inflation, you're getting a better fabric whichever one you buy, you're also getting a much larger tent. So the 650 is, it's a six man tent but it's, it's, a, it's a larger six man tent so it's going to be a 450 centimetre width. It's got great height throughout it so that the tent is the same height all the way throughout the Anantara series and that includes when you go into the bedrooms as well. They've still got the midnight inners as well, so you've got a darker sleeping compartment. And if you're looking at the waterproofing of the 150 denier, it goes up to a 5000 hydrostatic head. When you're looking at the poly cotton, again, cotton's a more malleable fabric for the weather, so it's actually weatherproof anyway. Um, so you, you, wouldn't need, you just need to treat it and, and weather it the first time you use the poly cotton. So with this, you've got the 150 denier or you've got the cotton, and the choice is really whether you want lightweight over durability. So it just depends what you want in. But these tents, they're very customizable as well. So there's a lot of optional extras that you can add to these. So for example, on the Anantara here, we've added the TA-105 front canopy and we've added also a side studio at the side. So there's a lot of different accessories to customize these tents to make them more comfortable, to add sleeping space and to add more living space to the side of them. I hope that that covers off the family tents for 2023. If you did have any comments, please drop them in the box uh, underneath and I will respond to them. The simple way of remembering this is good, better, best. So the mineral green tents we saw at the start there are lightweight entry level tents. The blue range we saw in the middle is our better tents. And this is our top end in the gray. So the gray is like the elite collection. They're, they're the ones that for the more avid campers that are out are out camping more throughout the year and maybe might be out earlier and later into the camping season as well. The more durable products with more features. We do a lot of in-depth videos on each individual tent so please feel free to check them out once you get an idea of where you want to sit within this range of tents.